Hello buddies. Welcome to my new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can recreate the no copyright sounds audio reactor straight into After Effects. Without further ado, let's see what the final result will look like. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so as to be notified when new tutorials are uploaded. In After Effects create a new composition. For this tutorial, we will be using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. The duration will depend on the length of your music. I'll be using 1 minute for this example. Now import these files that we will be using. You can find the project files on my Patreon account. And while you're there, please support the channel so as to enable me keep making awesome content for you. Now select the music file and drag it into the timeline. Then right click on the timeline and create a new solid. Leave the color as default and press OK. Next head over to the effects and presets tab and look for an effect called trap code form. Apply it to the solid layer. This is not a free plugin. You can however, get a trial period from the Red Giant website page. I'll leave a link to the website in the video description below. In the effects control panel, toggle up the base form. Then change the size from linked to individual. Now change the size X to 600, size Y to 500 and size Z to 0. Next change the particles in X to 450 particles in Y to 350 and finally those in Z to 1. Perfect. Close off the base form tab. Then click to toggle the particles tab. Click on the color icon and choose any color that you would want your audio reactor to be. I'm going with a lime green color. Then press OK. Toggle off the particle tab and open the audio react tab. Then select your music as the audio layer. Now open up the React to 1 tab. Change this map to Option to Fractal. Now change the width to 75. Also the strength should be 100. Close the React to 1 tab and then open up the React to 2 tab. For this we are going to use the Sphere 1 size. Now change the width to 75 and the strength to 50. We are almost there. Close off both the Reactor 2 and Audio React tabs. Next open up the Fractal Field tab. Change the Displace value to 73. Also change the Flow Y value to minus 180. Lastly, change the Flow Evolution to 68. Now, close off the Fractal Field tab. Then open up the Spherical Field. Then toggle up the Sphere 1. In here, change the Strength to 100. Then bump up the radius value until you find something that looks like a sphere. A value of 440 worked fine for me. This looks good. Now let's make it better. 
We need to add a glow to this. But first let's toggle down the form effect tab. Then head over to the effects and presets and look for the glow effect. Drop this effect below the form effect. Awesome. Now change the glow threshold to 78%. Change the glow radius to 6.0 and then change the intensity to 3.3. Then change the glow operation from additive to overlay. This is nice. Let's move further. Click on the composition button and choose new composition. Then change the composition's name to final. Leave all these other settings as they are and click OK. Now toggle the project tab by clicking here and selecting project. Select this one image and drag it into the timeline. Then select this image and press S to toggle scale properties. Scale the image to your preference. Next right click on the timeline and create a new adjustment layer. Then head over to the effects and presets tab and look for the curves effect. Then apply this effect to the adjustment layer. We will be using this effect to darken the background. Now adjust the curves graph as follows. Now it's time to bring over the audio reactor. Go back into the comp 1. Select the solid layer. We need to scale this reactor down and position it to the right. We cannot use the transform properties of the composition as it will affect the composition size and not necessarily the audio reactor itself. Let's reduce the viewport size. Now toggle open the form effect. Then open up the world dance form tab. Then change the scale the value to 60. Then increase the X offset value to move this audio reactor to the right. Now go back into the final comp. Then in the project tab, select the comp 1 layer and drop it into the timeline. Place it above the adjustment layer. Now change its mode from normal to screen. The reactor looks small. Let's fix it by increasing its scale value to around 70. Now let's add the no copyright sounds logo. In the project tab, select this NCS logo image and then drop it into the timeline. Then with the image selected, press P to toggle its position property. Then move it to the left of the audio reactor. Then press S to view its scale properties. Increase the scale value of the logo to 170. Then you may adjust its position a little bit to the right or left as you please. Now let's run preview the animation. But as you will see, it will be so slow to render a RAM preview of the animation depending on how fast your system and processor are. But for my case, my crappy laptop will take forever to do this. If you're like me, using proxies is your only solution. To create a proxy, simply right click on the composition on the project tab. Click on the create proxy option and the select movie. This will launch the render queue tab. Now simply hit render. This will create a low resolution video of your animation. Anyway, the time to generate this render will also depend on your system performance. Mine took forever to finish this. Please guys, support me on Patreon so that I can upgrade my system and push more content to you regularly. Once it's done, you will get this red alert bar indicating that proxy has been enabled. You can always turn off the proxy by clicking the checkbox before the comp player in the project tab. Now let's go into the final comp. 
And now if we hit the RAM preview button we should get a fast preview. Alright guys, that's all for today. Support the channel by liking this video, sharing and smashing the subscribe button. Also don't forget to visit our Patreon page to grab this project file. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.